Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can take one giant video timeline and split it into multiple video clips for exporting to different video files. So the way I like to set up my timeline to make this very easy to pull off is to use a bunch of markers in order to indicate where the starting and stopping points for each of those sections or video clips should be. So while you're editing your video, you can come up to the top of your timeline and you can add a marker, which basically serves as a timestamp for your video. So if you are editing a big project and you have a bunch of sections, find the point in time where you want to add a marker to to indicate your starting and stopping point for your exports. Click on the markers button or hit M on your keyboard which will add the marker above on to the timeline rather than down below onto the video clip, which is important because if you add it to the video clip, it's going to move with that video clip instead of marking a point in your timeline. So if you accidentally, let's say, move a clip to a different area or you delete that clip, you might accidentally delete your marker. Um, so for this purpose, it's much better, I think, to have it in the timeline rather than the video clip. So you can see that what I usually label it is basically what's going on in the section. So here I'm talking about the Streamlabs cloud bot for monitoring your Twitch chat if you're doing a live stream. So here I have a marker, I call it cloud bot because this is the period of time where I'm talking about uh, the chat moderator cloud bot for monitoring your Twitch TV stream. But you can really identify your markers however you want. So once you go through your video, you've labeled all of the sections with these markers, then you'll be ready to go to the export tab. So click on deliver for each of the in out points you want to export. So let's say we want this cloud bot section exported as its own separate video. Hit I for an endpoint while snapping to that marker there, the cloud bot marker. Go to the next marker, which should indicate the next section of your video and hit O. And now by having these markers here and in outing between them, we now have the time frame for when I'm solely talking about cloud bot, which could be its own separate video clip. Now we can go up here, choose our output settings. So I'll give it the file name cloud bot, make sure that the frames per second is set correctly and hit add to render queue. So now we've taken part of our timeline and decided to export only part of it. So how we go from this to exporting a bunch of clips is we just repeat the process. So I find my next endpoint that I want to add a endpoint to to export. And then I go to the next point where I indicate the next section and I hit O. So now we've defined another in out range for YouTube setup. So I go up here to file name and I call it YouTube setup and hit add to render queue. So now we have two videos queued up and now we just keep repeating the process until we have all of the clips selected that we want to export independently of each other. So here recording videos with OBS, we can make that a video title as well. Recording videos with OBS. I hit add to render queue. And now we have three jobs queued up. So you just repeat this process until all of the videos you want to export are done from the same timeline. And you can render all of these at once if you prefer by left clicking and dragging a box over all of them. Or you can left click on the first job you want to export, hold shift down and left click on the last one. And it will select all of the jobs in between those two points for selection. So you know a job is selected for rendering if it has a white box around it. A third way is you can use control. So if you hold control down and you left click, it's going to add jobs to the selection. So if there's a job in between that for some reason you don't want to export, that is a way you can get around that. So you could just do jobs one and three if you wanted there. So let's assume you want to do export all of these jobs. Just select them all however you want to do it. And then you hit start render. So now it's going to be taking these three jobs from the same timeline and making three separate videos. Of course, obviously, if you have more clips that you want to export, then you can keep going with this and export 10, 15, 20 clips, however many you need. So that's basically in a nutshell how you take one large timeline and split it into multiple video clips for exporting to different video files. I hope you guys got something out of this tutorial i've been chris thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my future video content